8.36. Now, you may remember that back in January, we heard from the Cardiff-based charity Life for African Mothers, which was extending its programme to improve maternal mortality rates to Ghana. That's one of the eight Millennium Development Goals that United Nations countries have pledged to achieve by 2015. And with less than a 1,000 days to go before the deadline, we thought we'd catch up with the Life for African Mothers project. Four medical students from the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff have just spent a month in the Ghanaian capital, Accra, where they've been working towards that goal. They're now back in Wales and they've sent us this report. Right, I think we'd better start, ladies. Um, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this three-day workshop. I'm Charlotte. I'm Mark. I'm Aoife. And I'm Mike. And we're all fourth-year medical students. Over the past few weeks, we've been in Accra, where we've been helping to teach skills courses to midwives. Put her to bed. She's in bed. So what are you going to do? Right, so listen to the FH. Listen to the FH then, Pat. The workshops were led by Pat Donovan, a midwifery lecturer in the UK. The main focus was to upskill midwives in emergencies during childbirth and encourage them to train others. And the side of the mouth. Yeah. And this arm. One finger there, one finger there, one finger there. Keeping it flexed. Breathe now, Mrs. Breathe, breathe. Let's bring it up. Bring it up. Helen Mary Basin is an acting director of nursing services for Greater Accra. She told us what she hoped staff there would gain from the courses. We want to improve on their resources in terms of human and their material resources. Capacity building to equip them with the necessary skills to help them to provide quality care, to reduce maternal mortality and morbidity. Uh, there are several interventions going on to help achieve that goal by 2015. Even if we are not there, we are sure of getting drastic reduction. We just finished our first day of the training course. It went really well. I think we're all, we're all pleased. I think there are things we can do better tomorrow. The midwives seem to really like uh, the scenarios we did, so I think more scenarios tomorrow. They put the drip up, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Would you wrap to the membrane? Yes. If, they were, if you thought they were intact? Yes. On the final day of training, the local midwives we'd been working with gave us some valuable feedback. It has replenished our mind. We've remembered what we learned in school and all that that we learned and that we are not implementing it. Now we remembered. So we are going to do it effectively. I really learned a lot, especially the new things like the water delivery, which is not practiced in Ghana. I saw how it was practiced and how beneficial it is for the mothers and the babies. And that sentiment was echoed by Helen Mary Bassin from Greater Accra Nursing Services. For me, I'm highly impressed about even the training that your organization is doing for our midwives because you are equipping them with their skills, take pro proper care, of mothers when they arrive with such complications and this is what we are aiming at. It's also been a big learning curve for us. We got teaching on obstetric emergencies that we never get taught on as, as medical students and we talk a lot from the midwives and their experiences about this. I learned skills in dealing with obstetric emergencies I just would never have had the chance to learn in the UK. It's, it's not part of our syllabus and no one would ever have taught us so if we come across someone in the street or in the hospital that is, is in labour and we can help you know we've got these skills now to, to do something about it something positive and we know the right thing to do. It was an eye-opening experience for me and it's given me a lot of confidence to go forward and carry on with my career plans. The majority of the memories I guess I'll, I'll take back are some of the situations that those midwives have been placed in and the facilities that they are working with. Probably dancing around the classroom singing a paracetamol song, which the midwives all seem to love dearly and want to teach us in every opportunity. I think that one song would be the greatest memory I'd probably take away from there. paracetamol song. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's a good uh, learning device, that, actually. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it sounds like uh, great work's going on there in the Ghanaian capital, Accra. Of course, we wish Life for African Mothers the very best with that project. And our thanks to, to Charlotte Dubinsky, who compiled that report.